Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a completion review to show you. Oh, oh no, that's a round one. I just thought one of the uh, drills had popped off then, just as I run my hand over it. But actually, no, there's some round drills that I've been playing about with that have managed to escape and stick onto here. So yeah, this is a custom photo of my lovely little Millie Moo. Um, it is only a 20 by 30. I think it's true to size. It's uh, quite a while since I kitted it up to do it. So yeah, <laughs> I decided I'd better get this one done. So it's oh, about 19 and a half centimetres by, let me have a look. There is an unboxing on this one as well if you want to uh, check it out by 29 centimetres. So yeah, they always uh, ask you to allow like a, a sort of a centimetre or under um as like leeway on these pictures but yeah it was a custom um it's a photograph that i took it's actually at uh, one of my friend's gardens um and she's in uh, my friend's dog's kennel <laughs> i'll put a photo the actual original photograph in and then i've just turned it into an art image um, I've done this before and did a custom before of uh, Millie Moo, which came out really nicely. This one is a square and it is AZQSD. I did get it from AliExpress. Yeah, I did. I'd got a coupon, gosh, a long time ago. Not a coupon, codes. No, coins. Yeah, AliExpress used to do lots of special offers on little coins um, that you can still collect but the offers just don't seem to be quite there as much anymore I, I've never quite worked out AliExpress is how they work out coins and things um, but yeah I was really pleased with it to be honest the drills were very very square there was very little trash um, the colours that are stuck around the edges are ones that I've dropped and then just picked up and stuck on the edges to be fair uh, they're not ones that are misshapen or anything and they've gone down really well. And for me, squares are quite difficult for me. I still struggle with them a little bit. I'm better than I was. Gosh, when I did the first square one, I felt like crying and throwing it out the window. I just didn't get it at all. But yeah, <laughs> like anything else with practice, you don't get that little bit better. So yeah, this one has come out really well. Um, I will get a frame for it, I believe. I got one of those snap frames for the last one because this is the second one I've done in this size. So I'll maybe put them both together. But I think you'll agree. I mean, you can definitely see that that is little Millie Moo. She's uh, gorgeous. And yeah, the colours, the charting, everything came out really well. They did actually send me a, a mock-up of the picture as well. If I've still got that, I'll put that in as well. I am not, not don't know whether I've still got that photograph or not. Or maybe I have and I just can't find it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And the drills, they, they were fine. Um, there's no popping drills at all. As I was doing it, I used my little roller um, to keep flattening it down. And it, it just all stayed in reasonably straight lines. Well, straight lines for me anyway. Uh, and yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think the colours have come out nice. I think the pictures come out really good and as i say it's uh, come out really well i think if you are going to get a smaller painting squares really are the way to go because rounds uh, you just don't get the detail because they're that slightly bigger um drill i think the rounds you need a bigger picture in rounds just my opinion i don't know but that's just i don't think this would have come out quite the same in round Maybe I should order it in round as well and we'll do a comparison. I'll think about that one because <laughs> it's taken me so long to do this one. I don't know when I'd get another one done. I've got a pile about this high, well, sort of <laughs> this high of ones that I want to get done. So anyway, we're going to kick this one down. It is squares. Uh, so yeah, I'll get the square box out, dust it off. It's a while since I've done a square. And uh, yeah, I will just be cutting these bits off. This little uh, key code up here with uh, all those will go in my logbook. They do actually send you um, 
a little content sheet as well. Well, it's not a con well, yeah, I suppose it is a content sheet. Um, a little inventory sheet, shall we say, as well with this. So on the whole, you know, for a good price painting, I was really pleased with it. So it's one of those things, give it a go. I know, um, you know, if you put in sort of human faces and things, you do sometimes need to go really, really big on a custom. These are the first two custom paintings that I did many moons ago. Now, these were actually from photographs. Uh, that is little baby Millie Moo, look. Um, I'd just put a frame around it and a little bit of um, art. These are squares again, and these were from uh, a seller on Amazon. Yeah, gosh, that's a while ago. Uh, oh, I've not got my frame right there. Look, I'll have to sort that out. Uh, the writing, it didn't come out. That says Millie, and I changed it, but in hindsight, I should have put it in a darker colour. But as you can see, it's there. You can tell it's Millie, but when you get close up, you do lose the eyes and you do lose a little bit of the character. So that's why I've sort of, in, after that, gone with the art images. But these are only 30 by 30 and these were like tryouts. They're on double-sided tape and they are squares. So my two least favourite things, but this is a say, oh gosh, they must be coming up three years old these now. <laughs> And then this is uh, Maisie. This is uh, our first Scotty, uh, our little Scotty dog that we had before, uh, Millie. This is Maisie Daisy. And again, the writing didn't come out, so I have changed that to change it to Nice Day. Um, but yeah, she was a beautiful old lady on that one. She's got white around her eyes. She had what we call snowflake eyes. She was slowly turning into a panda, I think. But yeah, they were both from the same company. Um, I yeah, they were okay. There was a little bit of popping on those, I think, but that could have been down to my inexperience of doing squares as well. So, as I said, don't be afraid if you're doing sort of animals or really close-up images um, of getting smaller canvases for, for your customs. But just be aware if that's a human face, unless it's a huge, you know, face that's right in the middle, like get the detail that you do um, on going for a lot bigger painting. I would definitely use this company again uh, because I did like the fact that they did send me the preview and it did actually have all the little squares on it and all the little colours to show you what it would look like. So yeah, I thought that was pretty good, particularly for the amount I was spending. It was only a few pounds, this one, as I say, I used coins on it, so it wasn't like I was paying a lot of money for it either. So yeah, but I love that. That will be going on my Scotty wall. I have one wall that's like generic Scotty pictures. And then I've got another wall that's got all my custom pictures, which has got uh, Millie and Maisie on it. Uh, yeah. What can I say? You've got to have a Maisie on your wall. <laughs> I'll just pop that up there for now and we will get these put away. So, yeah, and freeing up another container as well. I'm trying to do a few that I've had kitted up a long time or that I started a long time ago and I've not done. Oh, look, I've got my uh, colours in here. Because if you remember, I have got my Diamond Art Studio um, picture to do. I bought just the canvas. Uh, they had a special on where they'd got some extra canvases to the drills. So I've got to collect all these square drills to go on this canvas. So yeah, so these are the drills that I've been collecting and I've been sent that are all in squares because I don't have anywhere near as many squares as I do rounds. So these are the colours that I need for those. So really I need to be checking those off as well. But I'm going to put them away for now and then I'll maybe do another video kitting this up in preparation and see what colours I still need because I have got one of every colour um, in the squares so I should be able to fulfil it but obviously it's just how many you've got. I mean this one uh, I need 13,310s well I've got some lovely big bags here I would think. Is there maybe a thousand in these bags? So I may have you know I've got a few to go at and I have got Oh no, I haven't got a lot of three tens. I've got a lot of round three tens. I've not got a lot of square three tens. So, you know, it's just things to look at. And uh, that's nine three nine, which, yeah, I do need nine three nines. I need 1200 of those. So I might have enough of those, you see. So I do need to go through and just double check. Oh, look, I need 
14,000 of 703. I definitely haven't got that. So I need to, as I say, go through those and double check. Um, so that's why I've just got those on top at the moment that I've not put away. Anyway, I'm waffling again. What can I say? Right, so we're starting off with 152 is the first number. As you can see, this is all beautiful and neat and it fits beautifully because these are my squares. Uh, the system is all based on uh, Rebecca Admore Zest. Um, her system, she started this system up, off. I've followed it. Uh, I did start off having rounds and squares in the same boxes. Now I've just got squares in this box so I don't get quite so muddled up and end up putting squares in with round drills and round drills in with square drills. And uh, yeah, it is nice just having all the little bags already. So it takes quite a bit of setting up. Um, you basically have a card with your DMC number on and they're like your colour codes that uh, most diamond paintings have these days. And then I have a little bag behind it with a square sticker on it. So I know it's a square drill. The round ones have got round stickers on. Yay! How organised is that? All available from uh, Rebecca's store. You can do them yourself, obviously. But uh, yeah, I like the fact that Rebecca's are all die cut and just come and you just put them all together. And they're really lovely when they're done. They just look so organised and neat. Uh, and then as I say, you just put whichever colour into the little bag. So as you're going along and de kitting, you just take your bag out and add your drills to it. And it just makes it so much easier. And I actually enjoy de kitting because it's just so organised. It makes me feel very organised. <laughs> oh dear. So our first number is 152. And I always just double check that the colour is similar. Um, you don't very often get exactly the same colour because um, as with wallpapers and other things, the dye lots can vary. Um, so you sometimes do get a slightly different shade, but I do just now put them all in the same one. If you put every single shade of every single colour in a separate bag, it would just be too much. You'd have too much to deal with. So yeah, I don't do that anymore. I do, well, yeah, I've, I've had a few different set of variations on storage, but this is the one that works best for me. Um, and huge thank you to Rebecca for uh, bringing it out. She was definitely the first person I saw using this storage system. Um, whether somebody else was using it as well, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely followed uh, Rebecca. It's admorzest.com. She does have a website. Uh, she does sell little diamond painting things as well, which are very cute and very good. And uh, lots of organisational ideas. And she's very generous at sharing her ideas as well. So, yay. Okay, so let's put 154 back. And we want 161. See, this is a lot neater and a lot nicer than my rounds because I've got a lot more rounds and they tend to be a bit more squashed in. So, I am joined today by the lovely Amelia Moo. She just laid in her basket down there. Are you going to say hello, Milly Moo? No. Are you doing yet? I went to be alone. Oh, you're going to have a look. Say hello. Hello to everybody. Oh, we've got an eyebrow raise. So, yeah, she, she's listening, but she's not interested. <laughs> she's just joined us in the craft room. Yeah, she's our love of our life. Uh, keeps us smiling every day. She does something crackers every day. And uh, yeah, today she's just decided to come and chill in my craft room with me. Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. But today she's decided, yep, I want to know what you're doing. I think it's possibly because I've got quite a few unboxing videos and packages to uh, do. So I think she's uh, thinking, oh, I want to be in there just in case there's anything for me. Uh, yeah, we have started wrapping up little parcels because she enjoys unwrapping parcels so much. Um, we've started unwra uh, wrapping up little parcels, even if it's just her own toys that she's already got, so that she can uh, savage the package and run around the room with it. Let me just move this out of the way a little bit so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Does that look a bit better? Can you see a bit better? There? I think so. Yeah, we want to be in camera, don't we? There's no point in me wittering away and you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, yep, she keeps us... Well, I wouldn't say sane, because I think that's a word that doesn't particularly match in this house. Uh, but, yeah, she does keep us laughing. 
uh, let's get this one. Oh, that's a really pretty pearl lilac colour. Always amazes me when you do diamond painting, the colours that are in the painting. And you, you think, never in a million years would the picture of a Scotty dog have a pale lilac colour in it. But it actually does. And it's got deep purple in it as well. And it's even got little spots of red. You know, you'd think a Scotty dog would just be black. But no, they're not. <laughs> Well, not when you diamond paint anyway. In fact, it's amazing how many pictures um, of Scotty dogs that I've done that don't have any 310 black in them at all. These uh, do need cleaning. Look, I've used them so many times without cleaning them that I'm having trouble getting these little stickers off now. But then saying that, these stickers have been on a long time. I would think I've probably had this kitted up nearly a year, if not more than a year. <gasps> yeah best laid plans but we do tend to get a few curve balls thrown our way so I make all these plans and I actually start making lists of what videos I'm going to do and when and then yeah things happen so <laughs> we uh, yeah we just seem to uh, lurch from well I won't say disaster but yeah disaster <laughs> from one disaster to another sometimes so, no they're not disasters they're, they're just little blips little problems and we get over them so anyway hubby uh, is uh, recovering now so um i'm sorry i've missed the last few days but uh, yeah hubby uh, has had his cataract operation now um we had no sleep the day before and uh, the day before that as well he, he just was so uptight and upset and not wanting to have needles put in his eyes and he kept saying, what do they do? And I say, you don't want to know. And he'd say, I do. And I'd say, well, you know, they're going to replace the lens in your eye. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Oh, that's awful. I didn't know they did that. And then he was having dreams about the fact that they were taking his eyeball out and putting it on his tummy while they worked on it. And he could see it all happening. I said, well, that's never going to happen. But uh, yeah, he, he just got it all. So he's terrified of needles. So he just literally got it all out of proportion in his head. And uh, it's very difficult to sort of talk him down when he gets like that. Um, I know it's, I can understand it. I mean, he's been through such a lot. He's had, well, most things to say. We play consultant bingo, you know, when we go to the hospital. We sort of tick off which consultants we've seen and which department we've been in. And we have been in most of them, to be fair. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> He's uh, definitely yeah, working his way through the different departments in the hospital as to people we've seen. So, But we've been seeing the eye specialist for a while. But anyway, um, I got him there for eight o'clock in the morning and I, he was home by sort of half past 12. But he was in a really good mood when he came out. I think he thought he was going to be in a lot of pain and that it had been real traumatic. But... You know, I kept saying to him, it, you're completely anaesthetised. Even though you're awake, you'll maybe feel them actually touching you, but you'll feel no pain and you'll be very relaxed. And he was, and he came out in a lovely mood because he's had a real good laugh with the nurses. He's got a fantastic sense of humour. That's what drew me to him in the first place. We just used to laugh and laugh and laugh. And I'm surprised we ever got any work done. I met him... Um, through work I was working in the shop at the time um, and he came to work in the shop as well and uh, yeah it, he was <laughs> it, it, well we just laughed um, and it was a news agent that we were running a, a big chain news agents um, I was running it because my boss had gone the uh, store well the shop manager and his wife had left and I was assistant manager for my sins um so i was managing it and he came in as like a relief manager he used to travel around you know the areas and everything and uh, yeah he came in as the relief manager and that will be when was that 1994 i think it was easter 1994 that i actually met him and we just really just laughed. We were just really good friends. We just laughed and laughed and laughed. just all stupid things. We just had a, the same sense of humour. We still do, um, which is probably what's got us through the last few years because we do still giggle about the same things. Um, 
and yeah we just sort of like hit it off really and then yeah we're still together 25 years married this year so it's all good fun but yeah sense of humor is definitely yeah, good and it, it it just it brings out the best in people you know he's got one of those little charms to him that uh, whenever he's talking to people he just makes them laugh and he does daft things and he says daft things sometimes on purpose sometimes not <laughs> And uh, yeah, he gets people joking and laughing with him. So he was in a lovely mood when he came out. Um, in fact, he even said, oh, can we go and get a nice sandwich? Because we've got a really nice, I don't know if you'll do it, but we do it as a treat sometimes um, if we're in the area or we just fancy something really nice to eat. We've got a, like a little baker's, a little bakery uh, that makes all our own um, sausage rolls and pies and everything. And they do really lovely sandwiches. If you get a salad sandwich, it's one of the freshest things you've ever tasted. You know, it's really crunchy lettuce, really good. Just real. they're a big sandwich, but they're just really, really tasty. So he says, oh, let's go and get a nice sandwich. Uh, it's called Mrs Cogs. It's in the next village along from us. Uh, so we went there and I was just walking out the door and she just brought out some sausage rolls warm sausage rolls just cooked and i said well that's it now i'm gonna have to have two of those as well so well i ended up getting three because i got one each for us and then one uh, for my neighbor across the road that was looking after millie moo for us while we went to the hospital so yeah she uh, wasn't left on her own she got uh, her usual walk in the morning and went and terrorized our neighbor I wouldn't mind, well, friend he is really. I mean, he lives across the road, so he is a neighbour, but he's a friend. And uh, yeah, she's got him so well trained that he now puts YouTube Scotty Dog things on the uh, television for her when she's at his house. Honestly, I said, do you just tell her no? He says, oh, I can't do that. She's so cute. <laughs> yes, I know she's cute, but she's also a little madam. But anyway. He enjoys having her. He used to have a Scotty dog uh, when we had uh, Maisie, our first Scotty dog. He had a, a Scotty dog as well called Buster. And uh, they used to play together. There was about, I think, nine months in between them. Um, Maisie actually came from the same place that uh, Buster did. And then we used to have another Scotty lived around the corner. He was called Max. He was older than uh, Maisie and uh, Buster. And, uh, yeah, he came from the same place as well, so... It's real funny because people always come up to you in the street and say to you, oh, Scotty, you don't see many of those. And I used to say, yeah, we've got three living in, on our street. <laughs> so we see quite a few. <laughs> and uh, being with sort of Scotty Rescue as well, we see quite a few. Uh, sadly, we're not in a position to be able to rescue any at the moment. It was something we were going to do uh, before Hubby got ill. We had sort of like registered with our... Um, charity scotty charity that we uh, belong and we were going to start fostering scotties um who he was either cutting down on his hours or was going to retire completely he was thinking about it because he'd started being ill for a while and we'd decided we could you know we'd worked our money out and we decided that he could take early retirement um and you know that would have been like his little thing to do um and unfortunately things didn't quite work out but it's something I'll never say never because he's getting so much better albeit if we end up with this uh, dialysis unfortunately the house is going to have to be well at least one room is going to have to be really really sterile as it were so possibly it's not going to be possible possibly it's not going to be possible that's not good English Liz oh dear <laughs> good at all so but we'll see we've sort of like put that to the back of our minds now we've got the next appointment uh, near the end of april to go and chat to them again so until then we're not even thinking about it uh you know we're just uh, keeping our fingers crossed that we've been told if he has a, a low salt diet um which he should be having anyway we don't oh gosh look at all the different see that's what i mean about dye lots there just breaking off from what i'm talking about um that pink 
looks completely different. Those two are the same and that pink's a completely different colour. But hopefully if I do ever run out of gems, um, then I can just dig into these and I'll just use the one that's the nearest to the colour that's on that canvas. So yeah, that's that. But yeah, so end of April, we'll be uh, going to have another chat and uh, yeah, we're just trying to keep as healthy as possible. I mean, I need to keep healthy, I'm terrible. Uh, you know, I don't eat properly at all. I've always been terrible. Um, hence why I've always been tubby, I suppose. But it is what it is. I stopped dieting years ago. Um, I try. Well, to be honest, I haven't even got any scales in the house. I haven't had any scales. Oh, gosh, nearly 30 years now, I don't think. I just don't get weird. I just go by... Um, how tight my clothes are and if the size that I wear starts getting tight then I just cut down a little bit or try and watch what I'm eating a little bit and I just don't worry about it anymore um you know life's too short as I said just eat that piece of chocolate cake as long as you're not uh, unhealthy just treat yourself from time to time right so that is box number one let me grab box number two it's such a long time since I've given these squares an outing to put something away. Oh, they're just so nice and neat and tidy. Look at that. Don't they look great? Is it just me? I love stationery when it's all neat and tidy and organised. What's those at the back? Oh, they're whites. Look, it's a shame the picture hasn't. Has it got lots of whites? Um, B5 200s. Oh, yes. Oh, it only needs 307. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> I've got lots of the uh, whites. Can't remember what I did. I must have done a. Oh, I know. It was my uh, COVID um, twenty. Is it the twenty twenty one picture? Yes, it was. It was the COVID twenty twenty one picture that I did, um, and it all the background was white, and it just had all different uh, pictures. Um, of like the different COVID things like the masks um, and the injections and all that all the way around it so that's that's what's left over from that one. Oh gosh that was a while ago as well do you know and maybe one day I'll get all my diamond paintings that I've done together well the ones I've still got a lot of them I've gifted and I do do a lot of greetings cards as well and uh, yeah they tend to get gifted on quite a regular basis so Yes. Right, that is 939. Millie has decided to get out of a basket and is now sticking her head in some of the packages I've got on the floor ready to unbox. Uh, yeah, I've uh, treated myself as well. I have got, I have been buying some diamond paintings, which I said I wasn't going to do. Nope, oh, she's getting back in a basket again now. She's had a good look and now she's going back again. Uh, yeah, I've seen a few things bargains though i very rarely buy anything that's full price i have to say i'm a bit of a bargain hunter not as much as our daughter she is amazing the things the bargains that she gets and the things that she uh goes out and buys you know she, she's just amazing if you ever want in bargains go out shopping with her she's she just knows where all the bargains are and what to get and when to buy them and when special offers are on at certain shops. And oh, she's just, just amazing. Right. Oh, that one's in the wrong place. Oh, no, it's three. Oh, gosh, it's not 3041. It's because the labels are just slightly too long for the jars. I'm thinking, I was going to put that in 304 then. 3041, not 304. Ooh, let's watch that, mind you. I, I always do sort of glance at the colour to make sure it's as near as possible. Um, I just went out to make sure I've got the right number as well. Uh, otherwise, uh, yeah, you can get in a bit of a mess. But then if I put the wrong colour in, it, I'm just not going to worry about it. <laughs> oh dear, life's too short to be worrying about muddling up diamonds. I might cry later on, but I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, dear. Oh, we had a bit of drama uh, in the uh, close um, the other night. We completely missed it. It's only because um, our neighbour had put it on Facebook. Um, yeah, apparently 
they'd got uh, two plugs in one socket, you know, one of those adapter sockets where it's like a little square and you can put the plug on the top and two on the sides and one in the front. And they had two um, appliances that take a lot of electricity plugged into one um, adapter, one socket. And uh, yeah, it caught fire. So, oh, there's a round one in the bottom of there. Let me get rid of that. A stray round has managed to get its way into the squares. And yeah, so that was uh, a bit of fun. They had a fire engine come out and everything. Um, fortunately, everybody was fine, which is all that matters. You know, I mean, fire is a horrible thing. Uh, it didn't, I think it smouldered. And I don't think it particularly caught a fire. I think it was just mainly the plug. We are reasonably new houses, so they've got the electricity supply. As soon as it overheats, it does trip off. Um, and then you have to go and recess it in the garage. So that's what alerted them to it. Because um, all the electricity suddenly went off. And uh, I think they'd smelt a bit of smoke as well. So that's when they realised. So, you know, they, they got everybody out the house. Um, and I think they'd grab the laptop and the phone or whatever, anything you know, desperately important, as it were, as long as everybody's out, you know, and you've got time. And uh, yeah, they uh, they went out and the fire brigade came, but we completely missed it. But then we're at the back of the house, our bedroom is at the back and it was early hours of the morning. So I don't suppose the fire engine would have had its um, Nino Nino on, you know, it would have just had its flashing lights. Um, our friend across the road said he'd saw the lights, but he didn't know, you know, that it was a fire engine or whatever. Um, but yes, yeah, so they were very, very lucky. Uh, you know, it's one of those things, electrical items, appliances can be strange things. You never know when things are going to get uh, overheated. So, but yeah, so that was a bit of excitement. A bit disappointed I missed the fireman. Uh, yeah, well, I like a nice set of firemen in, all in his outfit, all uh, rushing to save people. Uh, and uh, yeah, mind you, to be honest, if it was uh, me getting rescued, uh, you'd probably need about three of them to lift me anyway. So. <laughs> as long as they were fit looking, I don't care. <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Uh, yeah, a bit of uh, excitement. You never know what goes on. So I just can't believe that, you know, at least I, I thought Millie would have sort of been disturbed by it or, you know, seen something going on. But nope, she didn't. She uh, slept through it as well. So maybe we live somewhere that's noisy and she's used to that sort of thing. She just thought, oh, what's going on now? Can't be bothered and went back to sleep. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear, mind you, we were tired because it was after Hubby had had his uh, cataract operation. So, uh, so we'd not really slept the couple of nights before. So possibly we just went back to sleep. Uh, well, just went to sleep and didn't wake up. But yeah, it's not been. He's he's uh, hoping he's going to be able to have his other eye done now. Says so he's, uh, he's not worried at all about having the other eye done because this one was uh, so good you know he didn't feel any pain they really looked after him um so yeah he, you know he says as well that his eyesight is amazing i think he thought he was not going to be able to see anything you know he was saying to me oh i better do this before i go in because i ain't going to be able to see when i come out and i'm like no you're going to have a cataract operation you're going to be able to see better when you come out not worse uh and yeah he just keeps saying how he can read this and he can read that and that unfortunately is also saying things to me like, oh, look at that over there. How have you left that like that? There's a bit of paint missing over there. Why have you not covered that up? So at the moment, I do just want to slap him uh, because he keeps telling me all the bits that I've missed. <laughs> no, only kidding, only kidding. But you know what I mean? You know, we've gone uh, the last few years where... I mean, I'd realised that his eyesight was getting bad because there were things I'd say, can't you see that? And he'd say, no. But yeah, he can uh, read everything now. We can see everything. And um, where I've had some of the Christmas decorations, um, some of the paint has come off where I've not used command strips. I've used cheaper versions, which don't work. And he said, oh, the paint's come off the wall there and you've just left that. 
and uh, so yeah you can see all those bits now so um i handed him a paintbrush <laughs> Oh dear, so goodness knows what it'll be like when he has his other eye done because that will, yeah, we will really be able to see everything then, won't he? Everything will become very, very clear. Right, let me just grab a bit of Goo Gone. Uh, this is fantastic, I love this stuff. Um, it just takes off sticky from things. So let me grab a little bit of cloth. This is just um, an old wet wipe that's dried out. And uh, it smells of oranges, this as well, so it's quite pleasant. I'll just give these a bit of a weep. So yeah, just take sticky off. It's really good as well for sticky on bottles. Um, little goes a long way, as you can see. Uh, it's also good uh, for, I'm a friend, I think I said uh, before, let me just put that out of the way, because if I spill that, I'll cry, because it's quite expensive to buy. And I don't want it all over everything either. And uh, yeah, she had a label, um, she bought a book, for one of her nieces or nephews and it had a sticky label price label on the front when she peeled it off half the label stuck on the book and obviously she didn't want to spoil the book so she just got some of this and it just took it off brilliant no problem whatsoever so yeah if you're wanting to clean anything um in summer we have uh, like a fly screen that i put up at the door and that uses tacky stuff to put it up so when I take that down, I just use some goo gone just to uh, wind and uh, take the sticky away from the door frame as well. So yeah, all good fun. From Amazon, of course. Does uh, anything not come from Amazon? It's uh, an amazing place, I have to say. It's like uh, we're wanting something. Oh, let's just have a look on Amazon and <laughs> see what price it is it from there oh dear so it yeah, looks like this little tiny bit is going to clean all of these bottles just gives them a good wipe just the last few so i now have another lovely 30 bottle container all nice and clean and ready for the next ones yay and i do find sometimes as well that once you've used the goo gone um, your labels will stick but they come off a lot easier as well when you've uh, finished so there you are all neat and nicely done and a little bit of nice smell as well all right what have i got in here i've got some cover oh i know it had um a cover sheet on it with it being with it being the double-sided tape it had one of the um sort of release sheets on it so i just cut that into squares i might keep these actually oh dear that's the crafter in me again look these are the sizes that i cut it into and then the last one i'd cut into two because i didn't have much time to do that one um so i just did half a square instead and then these are all the little grip seal bags that all the diamonds all the uh, gems came in yeah, 30 little bags, 30 colours, which I think is pretty good for, uh, was it 30 colours? Yeah, 29 colours for uh, a 30, uh, sorry, a 20 by 30 painting, you know, as a custom. And uh, I thought that was pretty good. Okay, so I say that will go in my log book. Put my little squares back away. I now have a container with uh, the lovely sticker on it there so that I know which way up it goes albeit this one has got uh, it has got uh, letters on the top so I can see which way that one goes up doesn't stop me opening it the wrong way up though <laughs> right okay well uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat and looking at this lovely little Millie Mo picture if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to join our little family, come back and find out what we get up to next and see all those exciting unboxings that I've got. Then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.